Yo, man, the shy episode 10, season 3 finale, man, is all done with, man. No more shies over with, man. I'm, I'm just going to jump right into it, though, man. The last episode, to me, it was decent. It wasn't all right. I, I felt like the um, episode 9 was better than episode 10, even though uh, well, Ronnie, he got popped at the end. But, you know, we was all expecting that to come anyway. But this um, this last episode, it was decent. Um, they had a lot of, um, couple of little sex scenes, whatever. Emmett getting married. That was like a big thing. Keisha wanted to keep the baby. And, um, you know, um, with, um, Jake brother Luke or whatever, get him and his partner, Imani or whatever, they get in custody over, um, Jake or whatever. And, oh, you know, and, uh, and, and Mr. Perry went in the mayor. He, him becoming mayor and all of that, man. It was a good, it was a good episode. And overall, it was a good season. To me, season one was definitely better than season three. Season two was definitely better than season three. Season three was still solid, though. Still a lot of wild stuff going on, man. They introducing us, changing it up a lot, bit, man. You know, it's all kind of new stuff. We already, we got, um, it's, just, it's a real colorful show, man. We got corrupt preachers. We got transsexuals on there. We got uh, studs. Uh, we got mayors and corrupt people. It's just all kind of corrupt shit going on on the show, but it's a colorful mix of a lot of different things, man. It's definitely a lot of LBG take GQ, TBZ going on. All of that is up in this show. It's definitely, it showed it in season three. But season three was still good, man. I like that how they took the cops out of the whole scenario. Like, the, they ain't having, like, no cop scene. Like, they didn't get all into the police department and the detectives and all that. That was, like, season one, season two. I'm not into that. They did that a lot with The Wire. Like, they had a whole season where they just talked about the cops and showed the cops. Like, I don't care about what happens in the cops' lives. They lives is born with the blue. We know they saw. They snitching people. They catch people. Lock them up. We know that. I want to hear what's going on in the main characters' lives and all of that. But season three was fire. I didn't like that they, um show so many flashbacks from the previous episode. It used up a lot of time like that, but I don't know. She had to, Lena Rafe had to do the best she had to do with her, um, but the cast being shortened like that and other actors had, and actresses had to step up and, you know, and, and um, kind of take over them roles and stuff and do and do their thing and stuff, and a lot of them did good, man. Y'all already know how I feel about Keisha. She's super fine, super chocolate, looks super good. I'm, I'm glad they found her and all that. If y'all don't know, she really like 29 years old or something. She played like a 18, 17, 18 year old, or whatever on the show. But she really grown. She plays. She play her um someone's half her age. That just goes to show you, man. A black don't crack, or whatever. And she she be looking super good. She my favorite character on the show, actually, man. But I, I, all of that though, like it was a good episode. It was a good season finale, but it didn't feel like a season finale. It felt like another episode. They could at least gave us one more and made it 11 or whatever, man. But season three had its highlights. Not a lot of um, murders, not a lot of people getting a shot, not a lot of gang activity. This one is more about, like, like trans lifestyle, stud lifestyle, um, the, little, the boys growing up, popping them, smoking, you know, they getting pussy now, getting big enough. Him and Maisha, they want public, you know, they say big, they some big teenagers. Big teenagers, man. You know how it is when you're a teenager. They got a lot. They huge, though. Them, that's a big couple right there. But that's cool, though, you know. That's big love, you know. There ain't nothing but baby fat anyway. I was way bigger than that. But, um... It was a good show. It was a great. It was a. Uh, it was a. It was a good show. How everything came up at the end. Oh yeah, and then they had another, people. A lot of people was talking about how Jake wasn't on the set. Um, his brother Luke, partner being a man, a trans or whatever they call it. He he was uh, gonna not gonna like that at all and stuff. But they they showed that in the episode. They talked about it. Got that out the gate. He said he don't care. He learned about it in the school, and it's not that big of a deal. And him and the, um, his um, Amani or whatever, they established like a little connection right there, you know. And then, you know, they was just doing family stuff after that. So they they basically all want big happy family right now. But um, a lot of people want to know if the show going to come back for season four. I don't know. And then personally, to be honest, I don't care this time. I don't, if it don't come back for a season four, I'm not going to be upset. But if it do, I will be excited. But either way, they gave us enough seasons, man. What, what more can happen? Ronnie died, Ethel died, Brandon gone, Reggie gone, uh, Brandon girl is gone, 
Brandon, mom is gone, the dad is gone, Coogie's gone, Q is gone, Trice is gone. I mean, there's so many people gone. I remember the, the original cast that I fell in love with pretty much from the first season, first two seasons or whatever, they gone. You know, like, they got a lot of new characters and stuff. The young dudes, the young boys is growing up, the young, um, the, everybody growing up and stuff. It's good to see that and all that, if they can keep the show going and stuff. Like I said, I'd be happy if they do, but if they don't, I'm not going to be disappointed. Lena Rafe, she be she writing and coming out and producing all kind of shit, and, and the actors and the actresses that's in the shot, they got all kind of shit that they got going on, and they filming and doing all of this and stuff, so, you know, either way, it'll all, it'll all work out, whatever, you know. If they if they renew it for a season four, it'd be um good if they do, and then, you know, if they don't, they got so much other stuff they working on. The um, the act, Emmett, the dude um, who played Emmett, he just came out with like some new music. Same thing with Reggie. He made a big announcement. A lot of people thought he was gonna pop up in the season finale, but he didn't. Well, he has a surprise of releasing some music and stuff and different stuff like that, different content and stuff. But overall, the whole cast did a great job. They got they you know they did they thing um, it was a good it was a good show it was a good season finale I just felt like it could have been a lot better um, but you know that's how the show is man it's up and down but the first two seasons definitely to me was this peak um, if they do do a season four I'll be happy man we're gonna see how it would adjust and how it would change man how, what else would they incorporate into the into the season four and what else can um, what would happen with Keisha raise the baby that's the biggest thing with Keisha with the baby and stuff but. I don't know, man. The shot always been a great show, man. They they've been adding so many new people from like La La Rail. I didn't you didn't see too much comment. I don't think they show comment one time in season three. I don't know, but I don't know, man. So many different things going on with the actors and the actresses that you know they write people in and out all the time. But Reggie didn't want to do it because of the whole trans thing, having a partner and all. There's just so much that went down behind the scenes with that show. That's crazy, but man, I will keep y'all in touch, man. You know they. If they decide to renew it or whatever, we definitely gonna find out, man. This is this is a fire show though. Can't say it's trash, can't say it's weak or nothing, but it's definitely you know it's it, it can it can reach the point where um is it gonna get better? Is it gonna get worse? Is it gonna stay at a standstill? We gonna see how how much better is the show gonna get? Cause I feel like besides Keisha going missing and they did and they find her, nothing else really happened this season. And Ronnie got um popped. Other than that, not. Too much other stuff really happened this season, but y'all let me know, man, how y'all feel about that, man. Y'all keep up, man. Facts.